I never thought much about it until today. I, I, I want to miss friend. Roger Paoletti stormed the beaches of Normandy on D-Day and fought all the way to Berlin. He, like so many World War II veterans, never talked much about the war. When the war was over, everybody came home, went to work, raised a family. After 59 years, the greatest generation finally had a memorial dedicated to their service. Arches on both sides represent the battles to defeat fascism in Europe and imperialism in the Pacific. On this beautiful day in September, these veterans finally get to see it and have their day in the sun. Oh, what a day. It starts with an escort. The Patriot Guard and veterans are among the motorcade to the airport, where the expressions of gratitude begin. Thank you very much for your service. An emotional send-off from a general and a congressman. Even the TSA and Southwest Airlines go out of their way to show their appreciation. Have a great day. Then the honor flight is off to the Baltimore airport, where word has spread that some heroes are arriving. On the bus to Washington, stories start to unfold. So that was a kamikaze aiming at the pier. The memories only become more vivid at the memorial. Yes, you did the best you could. You did great. The gratitude for these veterans can be felt everywhere here from all generations. Thank you so much. And from all over the world. Thank you very much. Indeed. Yes, thank you. Where are you from? Where are you from? From the UK. From the UK? From the United okay. Kingdom, Britain. Whether it was in support of the Allied operations in the Pacific Theater or the European Theater, this World War II memorial reinforces the bond these veterans have. You're looking back at the camaraderie you had back when you were back in the service. The relationship you you develop with your with your fellow soldiers. You can't believe it unless you've been there. For a short while, these humble men are rock stars. <laughs> but the mood is once again somber back on the bus as they pass the Iwo Jima Memorial. It represents a lot more of the battles, such as Okinawa and Saipan and so on and so forth. Some of these men know firsthand the price that was paid. I walked around a little small island. It took me 20 minutes down and down uh, off of Guadalcanal, and it was took 300 Marines to get that island. A visit to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier underscores the lives lost, which truly hits home. I think of my brother that lost his life in WW2 in France. Kind of chokes up a little bit, I'll be honest. And yet, some memories are still too painful to bring back, even on a day like this. I saw an awful lot. I, I don't even to tell my, my family anything. Not that he was on Omaha Beach or wounded four times. But their loved ones, in their own way, know. Larry Van Steenberg. It's one last mail call from family and friends who've written notes for them as they gather to head back home. I've just been some of the letters they wrote to me. Breaks my heart. And I just want to tell you how grateful I am to know you and to know that there are heroes like you in the world, J.F. Peterson. Mission accomplished. In Washington, D.C., Mark Baker, Fox 23 News.